Well, I believe that the most important part of my day is answering questions from members of Lesco Help. And, and also, see, we share them with everybody so everybody could learn the answers I give and things like that. That's why I could charge very little money to help people. But I, I got a question I just finished today and, oh, made me sick in a way. Uh, but I think it's instructive and really to educate other people on what has to be done and, and how to solve problems, particularly when you're suffering in financial situations or medical, whatever it is. So I got an answer, a question from the uh, member saying, uh, okay, I'm going to read it to you here. After reaching out to the local congressman's office for help with grants, that this is what we get back from the congressman that represents him in North Carolina. So I, that's one of the sources, besides all the agencies that give out grants, what I'm trying to do too is show people how to use your elected official. And because <laughs> they're an important resource, they get elected to try to help you and they have a motive to help you really more than the uh, uh, bureaucrats who hand out the money because if they help you and you get money to solve something, you'll vote for them forever. So that's why most elected officials really help a lot of people. Uh, and there's some that don't, but oh, if you're doing it for the first time and you run into an elected official like this in North Carolina, uh, okay, I'm going to finish with the reading the letter from uh, the member here. He says, keep in mind that his son Chris has PTSD and other mental conditions. So he's asking the congressman for help for his son who has PTSD and other mental conditions. Then he goes on to say, they put Chris into a nasty hotel and have recently stopped providing any monetary assistance. Uh, he cannot take care of himself. So, you know, he's pleading to the Congressman, hey, he's got this boy who must be an adult, I don't know for sure, uh, who can't take care of himself. He's in a hotel and, and it's a lousy hotel and they, no assistance, nothing. And the poor guy can't take care of himself. So he's looking for programs or help that, that could help him, his son, correct? Okay, here's the letter he gets. One sentence, one sentence uh, from... Uh, the Deputy District Director for Congressman David Rouser, R-O-U-Z-E-R, -E in North Carolina. She says, I cannot help him apply for grants. Ba -ba -la -la. Bing! <laughs> wow! <laughs> what a soulful person. <laughs> oh, boy, that really hurt when I... Uh, I mean, nothing. I mean, maybe they can't help a boy. Just uh, here, you know, not even a life raft. Nothing. Okay, here's what I... I go right to Dan because this is terrible. Uh, well, it's I, it, it's probably it's not as terrible because you get this. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you have. But now, how do you deal with this? So I say, Dan, it is better not to ask for grants. See, when you're asking for help from a congressman or anybody else, don't come. Hey, I want to get a grant because see, most of the money that the grant. Uh, the, the government gives out, it's not even called grants. So it's easy to get rid of you by saying, oh, we have no grants, can't help you, boom, bye. You know? uh, so uh, it, it, uh, by saying that you want a grant, you miss out on too many other possibilities like direct payments, free services, and all kind of other help that is not grants. And they don't even call it grants. <laughs> anyway, so I said, here, so you, I show you where to get a list of all the elected officials. So this is a place called commoncause.org. And you put in your address and you'll have 12 elected officials. So besides just your congressman, you want to start contacting all of them. So I tell them to go back to the list of elected officials and see if you can get people on the phone. See, it's it, better to get them on the phone you can. And even if you get on hold or call back three days later, that's better to touch a human being on the phone than in a digital way. And if you got on the phone, then I tell them to explain uh, the situation and ask for help, not a grant, ask for help or suggestions for other potential sources of help, okay? So ask for help and they say, oh, we really can't help for whatever reason they say. Well, ask for where else do you think I could get help? 
They know they're helping people like this every day, you know. So they have a bad day and 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 flush you off. See, it's harder if you get them on the phone and talking to a human being. It's harder to flunk you. <laughs> that's that's what brown nosing the teacher was all about. Going to their office afterwards <laughs> and show them that you're human. You can't flunk me. I'm not going to badmouth you. <laughs> and then I go on to say, we live in a better America than you're seeing from this staffer. Maybe the staffer has a bad day or anything, but boy, if this is your first time to contacting an elected official, you know, somebody in your neighborhood, somebody who is supposed to, who gets paid to care for people in their district and they treat them, but just, oh, sorry, can't help you. Bye. Um, you know, I tell them it's going to take more work to find the help you need. So please keep trying. And that's it. I mean, the point is that, you're going to run in assholes like this. They're all over. We're <laughs> all of us have our moments. And, and the important thing that elect officials really, you know, their job is to help people. That's what it is. And that's why they're, they're the only people really in the government really get paid uh, because that they get your vote to do this. Um, the other bureaucrats are the same thing, but they'll get paid the same thing or not. So that's why I think it's important. And if you know this elected official, I think I have this. Uh, where, where did I do it? <laughs> oh, come on. i got to have it somewhere. <laughs> oh, I, I'm losing it all now. Where is the elected official? <laughs> uh, let me get his. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, I had it there a sec. Honest, Mommy, I had it. I did it. Honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, where is it? Let me show you because it's important that you know this. Uh, and it's important even if people are ashamed. That, you know, that's why I, I drive around in a question mark side car <laughs> and I can't be an idiot out there because people know me. <laughs> and that guy with a question mark, sorry, I'm easy to find. You know? <laughs> okay, here, here's the uh, biography of the congressman's office. See, uh, and David R O U Z E R. He's on some committees, agriculture, he used to be a professor or something at the North Carolina State University. And you call him up for help and they say, nope, can't help you. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> They're in business to help people. What else are they doing? And they, <laughs> they know all these regulations. They know all these programs. So that's why, you know, I have to make sure let's go help members know or anybody else who's tried to elect the officials, they're not all like that, believe me. If you, sh if you see uh, testimonials uh, on our Facebook group, you see, boy, you know, I got a call back in a day, two days, and then after they called back, then the agency I was working with, they called me too and gave me the money. You know, it, it, it's a crapshoot game, of course. Uh, but I think that it doesn't hurt if we all treat each other a little better Sometimes it's hard, <laughs> but a lot of times life is hard. What do you think? This is easy out here? <laughs> no. And, and it's important they know how, you know, how, what they're affecting. This poor, um, you know, member and his son who, who he's trying to help so much and trying to get help from senior people in our society to help each other and they just don't want to help at all. Man, I don't know if that's a good neighbor or not. What do you think?